During the past 50 years or so, the whole world has been revolutionized. With the advent of the automobile, the X-ray, the airplane, the iron lung, television, radio, atomic energy and penicillin, medical science has advanced side by side with industrial development. And yet, in the midst of this atomic age, there still remains with us that dread of mental illness and misunderstanding of everything connected with it. But the treatment of mental illness has also been revolutionized. Although there still exists the age-old prejudice and belief that mental homes and hospitals are lunatic asylums fitted with padded cells and straight jackets. No longer are patients merely certified and detained until they're considered normal once again. Today, many patients, realizing they're in need of treatment, come and go of their own accord. Whoever would expect a dance like this in a mental hospital? It is, in fact, a very important part of the treatment administered. It reveals symptoms which might otherwise be repressed. And by mixing with the patients as they do, the nurses are able to study and understand them to a very much greater degree. Every depressed or excited emotion, every incoherent word, every foolish act results from an illness of the mind just as a cough or a pain might result from a disease of the lung. Where are the iron railings? You might well ask. Although iron railings would certainly mar this beautiful landscape. I wonder how many of you realize the majority of mental hospitals are situated in beautiful surroundings such as these. Occupational therapy, another important part of the treatment, is always al fresco, weather permitting, and all patients are encouraged to convalesce as much as possible in the open air. Oh no, this is not their annual sports day, it's a regular feature, just as their dances and film shows are. Once again, you'll notice how the nurses are mixing with the patients and taking part in the various sports. Surely this is freedom in the truest sense of the word for both the patients and the nurses. This patient is well enough to go into the nearby town on a shopping expedition. Hello, sister is apparently just going off duty. Let's leave the hospital for a moment and follow her back to her quarters. Like this one, most of the mental hospitals have their nurses' quarters quite apart from the hospital itself. Ah, now for a cup of tea. That's right, sister. Sit down and rest your weary legs. Adjoining tennis courts are a popular feature at nearly every hospital, but that is just one of the many social activities provided for the benefit of the nurses. Hello, this nurse seems to be in a hurry. I expect she has a date somewhere. Ah, that's it. I was wrong. As you can see, every convenience is provided for the nursing staff, even to a special room for hairdressing. Every nurse has her own private room, hot and cold running water, a built-in wardrobe, and, should they tire of looking at themselves in the mirror, who could wish for a better view than this? And now back to the hospital. Training is provided in the theory and practice of mental nursing for the examinations of both the Royal Medico Psychological Association and the General Nursing Council for England and Wales. Many more nurses are needed for this branch of hospital work, as you've seen, it's the most engaging and interesting occupation. There are leaflets in the vestibule of this theatre giving you full detail. The Nottingham and Derby hospitals at which these pictures were taken are prepared to interview any girl who is interested.